Welcome, 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 and thank you for spending some of your time with us. My name is Tina Rosenquist, and this is Knowledge for Wellness. And this show is to better inform you, because the more information you have, the better decisions you can make. And knowledge is power. And today's topic is on therapeutic healing with horses. And bringing us this information is Molly DePeca. She is from Midwest Center for Trauma and Emotional Healing in Minnetonka, Minnesota. And her website is www.mwtraumacenter.com. Well, welcome, Molly. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Nice to see you again. Yes, it's nice to see you, too. I'm so delighted that you could come to Knowledge for Wellness. And we got some great camera footage out there on the farm. And... Uh, but I'm not sure, before we get into showing the viewers a little bit about that, I'm not sure they got to see you on our last run when you were here. So if you could kind of take a step back and tell our viewers about yourself, your love, your passion, and why you chose this delightful profession. I would be happy to. Well, my name is Molly DePreckle, and I'm a psychologist, and I have a private practice. And my passion is helping people heal through emotional issues and life's traumas. And um, the world is pretty tough out there sometimes. Mm -hmm. And for me, my healing has always involved being out in nature and with animals. And so finding opportunities to um, link people up with the horses at the farm is, uh, just gives me great delight. And uh, it's my heart's passion. And so I have a private practice out at Featherbrook Farms in Corcoran, Minnesota. And then I have a private practice where I have a therapy dog that's in Minnetonka because it's harder to bring the horses into the office. So a lot of times we bring the clients out to the horses at the farm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're having a great success rate with that. Yes. And a great run with it. And, uh, you know, just having someone open up to the horse and be able to walk with them and talk with them without any pressure is a great concept. This is so new, you know, that... Mm -hmm. uh, not a lot of people know about it. I think sometimes being with an animal, and especially the horses, because they're you know 900 to 1,000 pounds, it can be a little intimidating. But mm -hmm. people have that connection with that horse, and they want to spend time. And so they look to me to help them um, figure out how to stay safe. And um, I like working with horses because being able to read body language and the micro movements of the horse, I can really teach people about boundaries and body language and connection and relationship and in a different way than you know sitting there with a paper and pencil and writing notes and yeah. just diagnosing someone in my office and I often find when they're with the horses that the um, assessment comes a lot faster because people exemplify in their bodies how they behave and how they stand and how they look around the horses kind of what their issues are in life and I can help them and sometimes I'll say how long did you or how how long in your life have you decided that it's unsafe to be in the world or that you walk that way? How did you know that? And I'm like, well, when you're walking the horse, your body's all hunched over and you're looking down at the ground. Oh, so wow. So not taking up space, and I can point that out and question people, and they usually say, well, tell me about that, and they want to learn about themselves through their interactions with the horses. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so great. Well, I did get to run out to Corcoran, to Featherbrook Farms, and I have got to tape you, so... Uh, picture's worth a thousand words, so we'll cut to that DVD then right away. Okay. Well, the, what you're seeing is Featherbrook Farms, and it's the farm that we're at in Corcoran, Minnesota. And it is a 30-acre farm, and it is lovely because it has smaller um, herds in big pastures that have grass on it, and so we can walk people out sometimes right in the pastures. And what you're looking at right now is the driveway on the way up into the barn. And I love it because sometimes people, when they come up to the farm, they'll talk about the fact that, wow, that's an old barn like my grandparents had or something like that. So the green barn that you see is where the 30 horses spend their evenings. And then the pastures are where they spend their time during the day. And this is the indoor, or excuse me, the outdoor arena where we often work with clients. And it has some observation area. And, and you'll some of the horses out here in the pasture are just way, are, we can stand in the indoor, outdoor arena if people don't want to be in the pasture with the horses. And that might be the first time that you've interacted over the fence and it feels a little safer and more connected. Or we can walk out in the pasture um, and stand next to the horses and actually be in their space and allow them to approach us. And I love to bring clients out just to interact with the animals in this natural setting and the beauty of the animals. And I think we have a 
historical cellular memory to be with horses and they are part of our history and our ancestry and they carried us over great distances and so there's just a connection I think that people have with the natural way that horses are in the world. So um, I love the opportunity to help people in their healing work by connecting with horses both um, leading, doing some riding, being out in, like I said, being out in their area in the pastures with people. Um, so if people are interested in therapeutic work for individual or group or family therapy, they can contact me at the Midwest Center for Trauma and Emotional Healing. Um, can teach a lot about diversity because they come in all shapes and sizes and um, it's just a really fun place to do therapy work. So I invite people to contact me if they have an interest or if they want to learn more because we also offer some wellness workshops for people if they're not interested in therapy. We have a wellness workshop for people coming up this fall. Hi, welcome to Featherbrook Farm. Um, I have a 34 acre farm out here in Corcoran and uh, we offer riding lessons for any age person that would like to learn about the art of dressage. Um, we have summer camps here offered all summer long on our website and we also offer um, schooling shows, clinics, and this summer we'll be offering a special um, camp for kids with Asperger's syndrome. Um, I started doing this work with kids and um, found that it really made a big difference in their life to be connected with the horse and joined up with Molly DePreckle and um, she's been doing this work for over 10 years. She works with um, at-risk kids, kids with um, emotional and behavioral disorders and has found great success through working with the horses. Uh, the horses are able to give the kids um, a lot of really important feedback to um, develop better life skills and um, it's also extremely rewarding for me and the volunteers and staff that we have. Um, I'm excited for our future working together. I think we can really expand on this um, line of work and I'm learning a lot uh, working with Molly. Thank you. Hi, my name is Molly DePreckle and I'm a psychologist in private practice and I'm here working at Featherbrook Farms where we provide animal assisted therapy focusing on both adolescents and adults. I find that the work with the horses can help people heal on their journey towards wellness. I run Carnes Psychological Services which is housed at the Center for Trauma and Emotional Healing in Minnetonka and this summer we're going to be providing both individual, group, and family therapy here at Featherbrook Farms. And the horses here are in training for people who want to do riding lessons and interact with horses. And then the therapeutic work takes place in a confidential setting and we can build confidence and assertiveness skills and trust working with the horses. My background is working in a private practice in an office setting, but I found when I bring people out and get them in motion and work with animals, their healing can move along much quicker. I've provided trainings nationally and internationally in animal assisted therapy, especially working with people, and I can also provide training for those who want to learn about equine assisted therapy, education, and training. I often find that people who don't want to talk to a therapist or come into an office can come out to a setting like this and feel much more comfortable and move along quicker in their healing. People who experience trauma and post-traumatic stress disorder sometimes being able to move in their body and basically be able to bilaterally stimulate their brain through movement and interactions with horses whether they're grooming or doing some riding or what we call the Tellington Touch which is energy work on horses. They tell me that they feel calm relaxed and mindful in their bodies, which for them is a skill that isn't often present when they're dealing with trauma and post-traumatic stress.